to the people of Wayne County, Oakland County, I wish you to be made aware of a man that is a thief, a robber, a liar, a con man. He runs a company called GM Calking. His name is Michael Groff. He lives in Marvindale, Michigan. This man is a thief. He sold me a box truck back on December 23rd, 2013. The box van was a death trap. He told me he had a leaking emission. I did not mind that. But then I drove it. It had no heat. The brakes were down to the floor. The floorboards almost were rusted through that almost fell through. After two days of trying to get it tested, I found out it would cost me over $2,000 to get fixed. I took it back to a location that I know he could pick it up at. I informed him of this. I told him because of the time at Christmas time, I would only take $700 back. He heed and hawed. For over three months, he tried to lie to me, selling me, telling me it was posted on Craigslist for $1,500, and he did me a favor by taking $500 off. It was not posted for fifteen; It was posted as $1,000. My son saw the ad, I saw the ad, and we saved the ad. This man then told me a week later, he posted it for sixteen. Then a week later, he told me his son posted the ad. This man cannot get his stories right. Be aware of this, this man. He likes to cheat people. I even gave him a chance of giving me the van back, and I would take it to a junkyard and get at least 500 of my money back. He called me the next day and told me he would call me the next week. When he did not, I called him. He threatened me with a lawyer. He threatened that if he just saw me, he would start trouble with me. Well, Michael, I am not scared of you. I've been put through situations like this before, and I came out fine. So people of Oakland, Wayne, stay away from Michael Groff. Stay away from GM Calking. It is a rip-off company. He is a liar. He cheats vets. He cheats the senior citizens. And, Michael, if you see this, you do not scare me. Lawyers do not scare me. I've been put through a lot worse than you could ever threaten me with. This ends this testimonial.